Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Paradise in Thailand. For those of you that were watching when we first arrived in Thailand, you know that I replaced this pump with that pump when we first arrived because this one had rusted out in the bottom, was leaking everywhere. So, the pump still worked on this, but the tank was leaking. What I've decided to do is remove the pump for this one and try to use it for a recirculation aeration pump out at the fish pond. As you can see, I've already got the pump off of it, and that's what it looks like right there. I have got the pressure switch and everything taken apart and retrofitted it with some PVC pipe. So, this is our next project. Um, it's not a very big project, shouldn't be that difficult. Um, I just need to, I've already rewired it, bypassed the removed pressure switch. I just need to get some black tape, tape up those wires, and then get something to mount it on out at the Salah, and then get this pipe dropped into the pond, and then get a discharge here that I want to I want to hook that up so I can like run a sprinkler out over the pond to aerate it and tee it off and run a hose to the garden for some pit. Um, my only concern is there is no pressure shut off on it uh, because there is no reservoir. So we're gonna have to just make sure we don't just deadhead it because it'll probably just burn the pump up if that happens. But anyhow, it's a free pump that's gonna be maybe five dollars worth of parts to, to get the thing put in there so we're gonna try it but that's our project um, we did get all the electrical completed on the Salah we'll take a look at that in here in a little bit when we get out to the pond okay we're not gonna call it a success but we are spraying water. Uh, we The check valve wouldn't hold the first one, so we got a second one, and then the spring was too strong on that, so we had to take it off and take the first one and put back on there. Problem is now we're going to have to prime it every time we try to start it, because this first check valve leaks back. But we got it running. That's the main thing. It will work. We're just gonna have to fine tune it now. And I gotta adjust the sprinkler. I just got the 90 kind of preset by eye, but obviously it ain't going far enough this way. And we'll get that thing so it's spraying a little straighter out rather than all fizzed out. But yeah, that floating bottle out there is just tied to the end to keep it from getting down into the mud. There's about a meter of string under that bottle that tied, it's tied to the check valve on the end of it. And that pond there should be about three meters deep, so it should be a couple meters off the bottom. See, my sprinkler's leaking a lot. I told the lady at the store that was the wrong threads for that sprinkler head, but she insisted they were correct. I put a bunch of thread tape on there and an O-ring, but it's still leaking like crazy. So now that we got that project going, we're gonna let it run for a little bit, but while we're doing that, I'm gonna show you the electrical we got in. This is just a charge cord up here, but we got a Breaker panel put in, we got the two lines coming in from the post via those insulators right there. A switch here for the light. Double outlet here, double outlet there, and that's how we're turning our pump on and off is by plugging it in. Um, I thought about hardwiring it, but I don't know, I decided it'd be easier to just plug it and unplug it for now. I might hardwire it later, but we're gonna see how it works first. The other thing we did yesterday is we had a lot of standing water here after it rained. It'd take days for it to dry. So I'm gonna try putting in a drain pipe. You can see it goes in here and underwater there. You can see it kind of sticking out down there. And then we kind of tried to grade this so everything will run to this low spot and down that pipe and back into the pond. That should get this dried out quicker and let the sun dry it up and hopefully make a little better walkway. I'm trying to talk some pit into letting me put some rock here to walk on, but this is supposed to be a garden, so we really don't want rock here. But yeah, that's three projects we got done. We got the electrical done, got the drain pipe done, 
and I also should say we put this canal along here to keep the rainwater up here. And that was the whole point of this, is to keep the rainwater from washing all this away, give it a place to drain. So we put a canal all along here, clear to the Salah, and then even under the Salah, but the other side of the Salah, we got it running down that corner of the water. Um, if this works, then we'll put a drain pipe over there also, do the same thing. And if it works really well, we might do it on the other two sides too, just to keep from washing all this water into the dirt. And then I should say the other thing, some pit's been planting grass through here. She's been pulling it out of the lot over there and replanting it over here to try to get it some, some erosion protection. The most important project thus far is now complete. We have a habit.